Hi folks, Astronomy Live here, back once again on Steve Olson's channel. Now, I wasn't going to do another video about this. I felt uh, that my last video adequately explained everything, but he's decided to double down on his deception, and he's released another video where he again claims that an image from Stereo Head HI2 has been replaced with a sanitized version. Now, Steve has now seen my video, I know, because he posted a comment on my video, both on my channel and on Daz the Cameraman's channel. And he basically threatens Daza with a lawsuit, saying that uh, if we libel him, his channel, or his guests one more time, he will take legal action. Well, libel only applies if we're not telling the truth about you. But we are. The truth is on our side, and I'm going to show that again. So I'm going to play his video here, and we're going to discuss what it contains. Two, Wayne, I was just wondering if we had covered this yet. What is that going through out by Pluto? That force? What is... Is that normal? Have you guys already covered this? Is that normal? Have you guys already covered this? Is that normal? Have you guys already covered this? Is that normal? Have you guys already covered this? Is that normal? Have you guys already covered this? Have you guys already covered this? Okay, I'm just going to let that stand on its own. The first 30 seconds of his video, I'm I'm not even going to give my opinion of what the heck that was, but you can decide for yourself whether you think that was normal and sane, okay? But I did already cover this, this, what he claims is some sort of object in the HI2 images. We did discuss this in my previous video, as mentioned. This is the Earth Occulter. This is a physical occulter which was designed to block light from Earth from the HI-2 camera shortly after launch. The spacecraft were, of course, launched from Earth, and early in, the, in their mission they were still quite close to Earth, and so they needed this physical occulter in place to block light from Earth so that it wouldn't wash out these images. So. Here is a PDF labeling parts of this image, which were a pre-flight, this was a pre-flight test image taken with one of the HI2 cameras. And you can see they label the Earth a coulter right here. That's what that is. Here's another PDF. This is another paper discussing uh, the HI2 and HI1 cameras and their design. And I'll include the links to these PDFs in the video description. And you can see that it says that some diffusion on the Earth occulter is also producing some additional ghosts. So yes, you can get stray light appearing on the Earth occulter. Now, if we come back to my processing of the raw data, this is my processing of the raw FITS file from the image that he says was replaced. Nope, you can still get both versions of the image, and you can get the raw FITS file and process it yourself. Now, this was my initial processing from my last video of that image, and it reveals the nice, beautiful Milky Way, all these dim stars, but the Earth occulter looks flat. It doesn't look like there's anything there. And if we go back to the images he's looking at, here's the one that he says was replaced, where he says an object is present there. And here is what he calls the sanitized version. This is the HI, HI stars directory. He's not showing you the other directory. There are multiple directories with different versions of these images. He knows this, especially since I already covered this explicitly in my last video. But again, there are different versions of these images. These, are, these images come from high bit depth FITS files. Your computer monitor is not capable of displaying the full dynamic range of these images. And so they have to be processed into various 8-bit images somehow. And 
in this case, the, this image is processed to reveal the stars in the Milky Way, hence why it's in the HI stars directory. So it's actually got less contrast enhancement than this version. And yes, if you take the raw fits file and you do dramatically more contrast enhancement on it, you will see there is stray light on the Earth of Coulter. Boom, there it is. So yeah, there is stray light there. And depending on how the image is processed, it can look strange. But this is the Earth occulter. This is like taking your finger and placing it in front of your camera while you're shooting the sky, say, looking near the sun, and getting a lens flare to appear on your finger. Again, putting your finger in front of the camera and getting a lens flare to appear in that part of the image and saying, that lens flare is a real object out in space. We need to be worried about that. That's what it's like saying, because this is a physical occulter blocking that part of the camera. So yes, that's been addressed. Now let's play the rest of this video. Hi everybody, it's Steve Olson. It is August 7th, Sunday night, or very early Sunday morning, and I was just taking a look at the Sechi site again. Uh, which is the Navy site that shows the H-12A um, stereo telescope, radio telescope. And I don't know what the critics are saying. I can't see the object that we captured uh, when we looked at the site, when we got this picture, you know, at relatively the same time. At relatively the same time? Wait a minute. What's this? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. The last video he did, which I commented on, you can see it. Go back to my last video. I'll throw that link in the video description as well. You can see he had the same timestamp on both images, and that's what he was pointing out was such a strange thing. Why were there two different versions of the same image? Well, there are many different versions of that image, as I discussed in my previous video. I'm not going to go through all that again. But now, now he's got an image from earlier from two hours before this one, processed this way. He went and got another image. <laughs> He's giving away the fact that he knows how to get these images. Okay, this was the one he discussed before, 2209-21. He's now come back up here and grabbed 2009-21. Look at that, it's a different picture. There's not much difference between them. There's only two hours apart, but it is a different picture. Just slightly. It, you can see the difference just slightly as I click between them. But he's now not even talking about 2209-21. Now he's talking about 2009 which is plainly still available here in the HIA directory. Again, you can see my last video on how to get these images, and I will include a link to this in the video description. Now, when I include the link, it's going to dump you back out to the home page from which you can get to the various ways that the images are processed. But on the left will be this bar that has all the images from this day. And you can grab that image. So he's now gone and grabbed a different image, giving away the fact that he's still able to grab the images. Okay. And this is the picture we captured. This is what they have up on their site. I'm not sure why they're hiding this. Let's see if the 2209 picture has got the actual object in it that we were observing. And by the way, we got backdoor validation from a astro astro a couple, an astronomical group. Uh, 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 what? What? You know, it almost sounded like he accidentally slipped out my channel's name, Astronomy Live. <laughs> amateur astronomers that said they've been watching this for a long time and actually have a lot to say about it. So we're getting some backdoor validation that what we may be seeing here, guys, is actually a star close by to ours. Um, that's the theory that I think that we might be looking at, and that's why we're getting such a huge kickback on this particular video. So I'm going to ask that you guys share it as much as you can. We're getting a lot of people calling us all kinds of names about it, but I think it's because it is the real deal, guys. So if you guys could share this for us, get it out there for us, it'd be very helpful. Okay. So he pulled up 200921, but he did it from the HI Stars directory, this picture over here. 
again, he's not showing you. There's another directory that has all these versions of the images. 2009-21, 2209-21, etc. You know, just for completeness sake, I will go back to the start and show you how you get to these images. So if you want the one that looks like this, you just go into the HI stars directory and you pick your resolution and you come down here, there it is, 2209-21, 2009-21, etc. You won't find the other versions of the images in this directory. Go back to the start again. HIA. 2016, 802, 224, there we go, 2209-21, 2009-21, etc., etc. He's being deliberately deceptive and not showing you the other directory. So I'm going to include links to both directories in the video description, and you can click on the pictures yourself and see that they're not covered up. I already did this in my last video, and I don't expect anything will change because Steve just doubled down on his lie. He knows these images are available. He's seen my video. He's now complaining about his critics, but I'm sorry, we're telling the truth, and he isn't. You can't even use Hanlon's razor on this, because he clearly knows how to get uh, the 20921 image. He's seen my video, so he knows how to get the images, because I showed how to get them in my last video. So there you have it. The smoking gun proof that Steve Olson is lying. Clear skies, folks.